Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today I'm preparing my flour for the freezer. Now, I have already pre-frozen my flour. Why do I freeze my flour? To kill any potential weevil eggs. No matter how finely sifted it is, the weevil eggs are small. Okay, so they'll get in there. So I freeze my flour and then I either can it or I rebag it. Now I don't can my flour anymore, it's just a pain in the butt. But I am going to rebag it into manageable size bags and put it back in the freezer. You see, this was already in the freezer, but this you can see this is not the best way to do it. It's in a Costco bag. Not the best way to do it because when you're digging through the freezer, debris can get in. So here is, I, I don't know, probably a half a big bag of all-purpose flour. And here is a 25-pound uh, bag of boreal organic flour. So I got lucky this time. I could get it. I couldn't get it when I bought this. So let's get this bagged up. Here I have 18 large BPA-free plastic bags. I don't recommend you using zipper seal bags because you don't always get a good seal. Now this is about the size of my flour can. And the reason I'm doing this is so that whenever I need flour or I'm getting low, I can just reach into the freezer and grab one of these bags of flour and then just dump it in my flour tin. And never will weevil eggs hatch because they've been frozen. So let's see how many cups one of these bags holds. Approximately two, four, six, Eight, ten. I'm going to say 12 cups of flour is a good amount. Now, I did say approximately, right? See, this was, would be, yeah, I'm going to tie this. Whatever I do, whatever I'm going to bake with, I'll be measuring it anyway, right? One. So, now I don't have to measure because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get about 12 cups per bag. I, I really don't want to twist tie them. Why? Because, because it's heavy contents in the bag. So, a twist tie, if shifted around, uh, a bag with heavy stuff in it, if shifted around, the twist tie can come undone very, very easily. So, I'm tying the bag. Okay, I have seven bags of all-purpose flour. This is about 35 pounds, okay? I had a 50 pound bag of flour and I haven't used most of it. These are going back into this bag. And then I'm gonna start bagging up the organic flour. So when I have this one done, we'll be back. So there it is. Uh, approximately 35 pounds of all-purpose flour and 25 pounds of organic and daddy's just going to lift these into the freezer for me even if your freezer breaks down as long as you get those bags out of the freezer before everything else thaws they're still going to be fine on the shelf as long as they're sealed this is the missile Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying i got about 70 pounds of flour that's good enough for us but if I see more organic, I'll have to pick some up. Take care, God. God bless.